तो हाय गाइस इट्स मी दीपक एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू मेक अ टू डू लिस्ट एंड दिस इज अ 2.0 वर्जन सो इट्स गोइंग टू बी लॉट बेटर देन द प्रीवियस वन एज यू कैन सी इन द स्क्रीन व्हाट कैन डू एंड व्हाट इट कैन नॉट एट दिस पॉइंट इट्स एन अ बेटर वर्जन आई एम गोइंग टू इंप्रूव इट अ लॉट Uh, and the upcoming videos and they're going to, I'm going to add a lot of things in this but so far I have done this as you can see on your screen and with that said let's uh, show you what I have done in this code let's go so at first I created a splash screen splash screen I added a delay of 3 second as you can see on your screen I just uh, went to new created black activity add the name splash screen and then i wrote the code where i said uh, i'm going to add delay of 3 second and then I start the new activity which is the main activity there's one change that you need to do is uh, you have to uh, go to the manifest file and change the launcher activity that i did so i on the top of the screen you can see there's a manifest file there and i just change the name of my uh, main activity to launch uh, to splash screen and also in my also you can see that uh, As you can see that I have changed the main activity here, and I have uh, I'm gonna manually supply that toolbar uh, in my main activity, and I'm gonna explain that uh, the reason why I'm doing that. Uh, but just uh, uh, keep that in the mind. So next activity that's gonna be our main activity this time, and it's gonna have two icons on toolbar as you can see. One is for the navigation bar, and other icon is gonna take us to uh, an activity where we're gonna add the task. Uh, so let's not go into that. As you can see, I have had three options here. One is a list of tasks, other is profile, and the third one is game. I'm gonna add game later in the second version, uh, in the second episode, uh, and the profile also I have to uh, add a login page uh, after when I first uh, open this app, and that's gonna be a one-time thing, and it's gonna have shared preference something like that. I don't think about how I'm gonna do it, but let's look at the code for our main activity. And this code doesn't has much. Uh, it's gonna just have some variable for our uh, draw layout, navigation bar, and uh, coordinate layout and uh, frame. And uh, it's gonna just look for what uh, item I'm clicking on the navigation bar. And the main uh, thing about here is I'm using fragments this time. And fragments are really helpful because uh, they help me. Uh, just using sim uh, single activity, I can replace fragments and uh, navigate through. different activities uh, different uh, things that i want like i, I can just uh, have the same ac main activity and at the same time i can have three uh, three fragments for my profile game and uh, uh, what's that list and as you can see on the uh, as on the xml file it uh, says a lot of thing like why well, i'm using coordinate layout coordinate layout is really helpful when i'm using fragments and also i'm uh, supplying manually my toolbar here and i have set the minimum height to the attribute And also, there's a frame layout here uh, that I'm going to replace it with uh, other uh, fragments that I'm that have created in my fragment directory. And uh, also, the navigation bar is there where I have uh, manually where I have uh, uh, placed my drawer header as well as the menu resource file for my uh, different uh, icons, different uh, layout, uh, different. You know what I mean. Okay, so uh, this is our main activity for now, and uh, there. Are, uh, so what I've done is I have uh, supplied a boolean here, as you can see. That boolean I will talk about later, but it's gonna open the open dashboard function, and uh, what it does is it's uh, gonna uh, uh, replace my frame with the list fragment, and uh, it's gonna close, and it's gonna set that toolbar uh, name to list, and, and then it's gonna close the toolbar. Close the nav bar. Also, I have uh, uh, I supplied my uh, toolbar as well. So uh, I'm gonna uh, pass the uh, name and everything there. And uh, I have added a if condition. Uh, so I have uh, set my resource as, uh, as checkable. And in the starting, it's gonna be uh, checkable as for uh, the uh, the list one. And then whenever I click on something, it's gonna check one. And this. Uh, Toggle is uh, just three lines. As you can see, I have to uh, set it to sync state as well. And this, then there's the if condition. I will look for uh, if I'm pressing if I have already pressed something. That's going to be the case most of the time. I mean, uh, always. Then I have to. Uh, but then I have to look for what I'm clicking now, and it's going to set those things. And then the checkable will be changed. Like if I was in list and I click on profile, then the profile will be the one which I will checkable, and I will. Uh, exchange the uh, frame with the that one like uh, profile that and then I'm gonna close the uh, navbar like this as you can see on the screen 
I have to uh, actually now I have to actually write the code for uh, the code uh, game as well as the profile. So I just set the layout so far for them. Okay, so now let's look at our uh, uh, why we are using a list here. Okay, so let's look at the fragment so far. So I have game, list, and profile, and uh, I haven't written any code for profile and game as I've said earlier. But for list, I have, and that there's a lot of things to explain. So uh, let's get started with what I have done in list. So so far, you can see that I have uh, this uh, linear layout manager and a uh, recycler view. And what I'm why I'm using recycler view is it's safe. Uh, space as if uh, i'm scrolling down then it will use the uh the layer uh i think i should not explain now i should just wait i will explain this uh in some time so what i'm talking about i have to show you the resource i have to show you the single row first uh, so you can see uh so uh, let's talk about the layout for our list view as you can see i have this recycler view and i have uh, manually supplied uh, the each uh, each row of this layout is going to have an image view and a text view so it's going to recycle view is really helpful because it will uh, whenever uh, the screen is full and i scroll down to the like if a screen can have five uh, five items at, at a time so when i uh, scroll down to six one the first one will uh, we shift to the sixth one and it's going to hold the element hold the values of the sixth row so it's really uh, helpful in uh, saving space and uh, i forgot uh, uh, to show you the uh, resource file for my menu so here you can see it has this of task and i have a uh, manual supplied the icons uh, so it's uh, really easy to create icons you just have to click uh, right click on your draw drawables and uh, it will uh, there will be an option of uh, image view assets and that there you can create so i have uh, set uh, that checkable to true uh, checkable to single sorry and uh, you can see uh, clicking on drawable uh, then click on new there will be image assets and uh, here you can create your icons so you have to just set the uh, set the color as well as uh, what icon you want so there are a lot of options also you can manually copy paste from internet as well that works fine this one saves time so i just use one that was provided by the android studio uh, don't use anything else just the image of the to-do list i have copied from internet and that's how it is in the navbar and i forgot to show you the drawer header in this video sorry for that uh also uh so i manually created the list adapter as well and uh, i will talk about this adapter and what it does in a moment but you can see uh i have a list of task lists and it's a hold task entity what's that i'll talk in a moment uh but uh, so far i have just set the uh, link the layout to like uh, recycler list i have uh, set the id in the layout file you have you have to do as well also uh i have to pass the values for my uh for this list view uh, so you may be wondering what is this list adapter so list adapter is uh, is really helpful in plugging uh as a it's work as an what i usually do is i have created that list of uh, objects that uh, that holds that is uh, just for now let's say it's a class and uh, it holds the list of objects for the class and i'm passing the values and uh, i will explain in a moment why i'm using uh, the async task or why i'm using it uh, but what i'm doing is i'm just get getting those uh, getting the all the getting the list and i'm passing it to list adapter and in list adapter i'm going to uh, check each and every object and then i'm going to put it on the screen for uh, on my main screen i'm only going to have the uh, the title of my task as well as the image uh, so far i have not set uh, set a way to set the image i'm going to do it i'm going to set a grid layout for image i'm going to um, for the second version i have in mind is i'm going to set a grid layout i'm going to give them few options which from which they can select but uh, what i'm doing right now is i'm select uh, looking for the id and uh, whenever i press the plus icon on my list as you can see i'm going to open this new activity and uh, there uh, i will add the task that i want so let's uh, look at that okay let's look at our list adapter now and uh, the uh, as to earlier i'm going to pass my uh task entity list of task entity and here i'm gonna uh, first of all i have a layout set that uh is gonna have an image and a title view image and title that is a text view as well as a relative, relative view 
I mean, it's in a relative layout, and when I press on the relative layout anywhere, it's gonna open a new activity that I will show uh, later. Uh, everything that is happening at this point is in my main activity, so there's a lot of things that is happening in that main activity. Uh, so keep that in mind. And I have created three override functions here uh, that's gonna uh, look for the size of the list, uh, inflate the layout. Uh, uh, not only that, I'll pass the view, and I'm gonna uh, have the layout in the uh, on create function. And uh, also uh, in my on bind, I'm gonna uh, set the text view, uh, set that uh, set my uh, value of text view as well as uh, as set an on click display for my relative view. So when I press on that, it will open a uh, new activity. That's a short pass activity that I will uh, that I will talk about later. What I'm doing is I'm passing uh, passing the task title as a description when i click on that relative layout as well as the id i need that i don't talk about why i'm doing that uh, in a minute uh, i think now it's time i, I should explain uh, how i'm storing the title task as well as id okay so what i've done is i have created this database directory and in that i have passed my entity the database as well as task tau it should be named as task DAO because DAO. Okay, so I have this entity, uh, and each entity is gonna have a title ID, uh, title ta title, uh, sorry, task ID, task title, as well as task description. Then I have this uh, task DAO that is gonna have few functions here, like insert task, delete task, select all the tasks that I have stored, and select a particular task. Why I'm selecting a particular task is so that I can delete that task once I have finished. And why I'm selecting all the tasks is when I have to print all the tasks in my main activities. And inserting is obvious because I have to insert. Like when I press on, like when I am using the add task and I have to uh, uh, enter a task, I am using insert task. And when I finish, I have to delete delete a task. So here is my add task, and this is the layout. Like uh, like I can just add anything I want. I have to just give it the title as well as the description of what I'm doing. As you can see, I have to just uh, add title and the task, and I have to press on the button after that. And the button will uh, get the task and the title, and uh, it will then call the insert function from the ta task database. And let's talk about how it works. So let's look at my add task. Here I have already given the text uh, the, what I need here. And uh, look, let's look at the layout. Uh, this is the images at this point is the image folder. I'm gonna add an image listener. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna add a listener as well. When I press on the image, I will be taken to another layout from where I can set the image layout. That's what, uh, what I have in mind. Uh, and there are different things. I have already given the name to my uh, edit edit text that is input title and input description. And then I'm gonna uh, call it it my add pass function. And the print statements are not necessary. I was just when I was debugging the code, I written those print statements to see what is working and what is not. Also, I have created the uh, DB async here. And what they, uh, what async does is it uh, use the worker thread. So while my main thread uh, handles the UI, I want worker thread. I think that's the right name. I don't remember. Uh, it will work uh, work and gather the item that I need from the database or store them in the database and not make the main layout or not hang the main uh, not hang the U ui at the time so it doesn't it looks uh, user friendly that, so that's why you use async task and i'm gonna uh, build a database there and uh, then i'm gonna uh, call the uh, db dao uh, the task dao what uh, task dao function does is i have created that in my database and it uh, give me a way to access the function from the task dao because it returns the task dao ob object and from the task of objects, I can call the function like insert, delete, all the functions. So that's what, what happens. And I usually get the values from my edit text, like dot text, and then I pass in my async task. I mean, I create the object from my async task, and then I execute and get. And that's how it works. If uh, I have to make sure that I'm getting both the values, so I have created an else creation as well. Like I have created a post message that says uh, you have to enter both title as well as task. If not, then uh, I mean, if not, then that top message will appear. Uh, I think that's what happened in a nutshell. And once I'm done, I'm, uh, I'll create a new. Act I will just uh, move to my main activity and uh, finish this one. Yeah. So let's look at the last activity for today, and that's going to be a short task. And I said earlier that uh, when you click, when you uh, press on that 
relative layout uh, that means that that one row i mean every row has that definition so when i press that uh, it I, it will send the book description the task description the task id as well as the task title to uh, the uh, show task activity and using intent uh, intent dot get uh, get extra string get extra int i'll get the book description the task description task id and the task title so that's what i'm uh, uh, i'm going to do and once once uh, i have finished the task i want a way to delete the task so for some weird reason i don't know why i fed it to different classes for uh, two different uh, uh, classes that uh, has a parent class of missing task and what i did done was uh, one class is called i don't know why i did that i created a doing then I, in the doing background task uh, in the doing background i just uh, in the, the first class uh, will uh, get me the get me the task entity so it will uh, you remember the uh, function i created that that have that uh, get task by id uh, that one will get me that task get uh, get the task for me it's going to return that uh, task entity and then i'm going to pass that task entity uh, to the second class and that's going to delete it for me because i need a task entity so i could have done that in one uh, class uh, I, I should just have written a uh, definition or something like that uh, and it would have worked i don't know why i did that but i don't want to change it uh, because i don't want to ruin my phone I don't want to ruin my code uh, uh, for some reason. Okay, so that's what I did. Uh, uh, once I have finished, I'll press the button. I have already uh, uh, linked it to my layout and I set set on this listener and uh, it will delete it for me. It will then finish the activity. And what it will do is that's when, that is really important. It's gonna set up. Uh, it's gonna uh, put a boolean variable, which is true. And uh, what it will do is uh, setting. So what it will do is setting the boolean variable true is uh, that once once I'm opening the main activity, uh, it will uh, look it will uh, the main activity will see that the, the boolean is true and it will open the profile layout profile profile fragment sorry and uh, there it will increment my success plus one. I have to add a weight of failure as well and that I have not done so far. Uh, I will do it in future in a future video and uh, I will. I'll uh, show you how it, how it can be done. Also, I will leave the link to the code in the description. I'm not gonna uh, put the variable resources or the string ones. I'm just gonna put the classes uh, and the layout and in my GitHub profile. And I will leave the link in the description if you want to check that out. And uh, also, if you like this video, uh, consider subscribing and press the bell icon. And I hope I see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.